My name is uh, Omliki Modestus Dangali. I'm from Tanzania. Uh, the man of God has, uh, has spoken uh, the truth. He sold the truth about my life. I'm here, first, of course, uh, because of the ministry issue. I've been uh, having this strong desire in my heart to serve God. And uh, I've been here so that uh, I have come here so that I, it is revealed to me my calling. I have to know my calling and where to start. That's what the man of God has spoken to me. He has prophesied about that. That yes, um, I'm here for the issue of the ministry. I confirm the prophets to be true. I saw a struggle in, in your brother's life. Huh? I saw a serious struggle in your brother's life. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes. True. Huh? Very true. Because he's trying to he's trying to do some I don't know. Huh? This is a man who was also thinking about business. Yes. Huh? Yes. But I'm seeing him struggling a lot. Very much. Huh? Yes. This is the spirit of the whole family. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because even you, what you're trying to do on the issues of the ministry, there are problems. Yes, yes. Huh? Yes. And yes, there are some certain people that are trying to fight you. Okay. Huh? okay. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes. So I'll pray for you and I believe there's a breakthrough that is coming. Amen. Amen. I receive. Me? Yes. Let's pray for your brother. Okay. He's in Tanzania. Yes. Let's pray for him. Let's Thank pray you. for him. There's Thank a breakthrough you. that God is going to bring in his life. Amen. Amen. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, let's cancel this problem. I said, uh, today I said I don't want to speak many things. Yes. I want to mm -hmm. straight to the problem. Mm -hmm. Clap for me. <laughs> because I realize, sorry, I, I, I realize that many people, they have problems and Uh, so, uh, let me pray for you, because I believe when you're coming here is the issues of the ministry. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. But you didn't come here for yourself only. Okay. Also for your brother. Okay. Yes. Are you hearing me? Because yes. I saw him trying to do something like a business. Okay. Uh, yes, man. And there's nothing that is working out. Okay. Uh, having issues of the job also. Yes. So I'll pray for you and you people will be free today. Amen. And I believe this, what you've been crying for, receiving Holy Spirit, I'm sure you've found it. Count! Count! In Jesus' mighty name. Brother, are you having a child somewhere? Yes. Are you having a child? Child? Mm -hmm. No. Mm? No. Must be careful, man. Eh? Okay. Are you me? Okay, man. Where's your wife? My wife. Well, I haven't been married. I have not married yet. Yet. Are you not having a child outside of marriage? N no, I'm not married at I'm all. I'm not denying. I don't have a child. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. So you must be careful, eh? Okay. Because there's a certain spirit that is trying to attack you. Okay. Huh? Okay. This this spirit can end up destroying you. Okay. In Jesus' mighty name. You're free? Have you already started the ministry or before you start you wanted to come here to get confirmation? I haven't started yet. I wanted to come here first. First to know uh, I'm called for what? So that I start the ministry. And let's go back to the to the man of God, Apostle J.B. Makananisa. He spoke to you, and I believe he spoke to you regarding that. What did he say to you? Okay, the man of God, uh, he first asked me whether I have any uh, connection with Zimbabwe issues. So he asked if Zimbabwe has to do something with me. Uh, then I said, 
Uh, yeah, I know Zimbabwe, but uh, I haven't, uh, I've not been there. So he said uh, when I, I went to see him now, because that was the first time, yeah. When I went to see him, he said I, I'm supposed to be, what he sees, he sees I have a calling over my life. I'm supposed to be traveling a lot and planting churches, that's what he said. So he, he said that he, he, he talked to me the issue of Zimbabwe uh, because it is something related to, to my calling. And when he said that to you, counting that it is one of the things that made you to come here, how did you feel at that moment? Actually, I'm very happy. I'm very glad to hear that. Yes. And going to now, when you are being prophesied by the prophet, the prophet spoke about your brother struggling with business. Were you aware of that? Actually, I'm um, not really aware that much, but uh, what I know is my brother has been struggling ever since. He has been struggling, he has been in jail sometimes. Yes, even now he has a case also in the, in the court there. Yes, he has a case which he has to attend. So nothing, nothing to show. And do you, as a Christian, how was it affecting you? It was affecting me a lot to such an extent that, uh, I, you know, it's one of my cry that if God anoints me, if he sends me, you know, I have seen people suffering, uh, people are struggling. So I'm praying that God sends me not only for other people, but also for my family, for my brother also. Yes. Speaking about anointing, it is what the prophet spoke about lately that what one of the things that made you to come here is for you to receive the Holy Ghost and he prayed for you. At that particular moment, how did you feel when he prayed for you? And take us to when he spoke about that. Is it true that you, you wanted the Holy Spirit to be filled? I have been yearning all along. I want the Holy Spirit. I want uh, to be anointed uh, to serve God. I want to serve God. How are you feeling? So I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Very, very, very happy. So what you came here for, is it fulfilled? Yes, indeed it is fulfilled. It's all fulfilled. Yes. As you gave us a big yes, I believe that you're in the right position to encourage somebody out there who is lost or who are still having confusion on, on which area has God called them for. And today, God has spoken unto your life through our father, Apostle J.B. Maganese, and through the prophet, Prophet Simon. What can you say to other viewers? Uh, first, I would like to advise everybody. You know, okay. I would like to advise uh, everyone going whatever they are going through. They have to trust, fully trust in God. They should be fully trust in Christ. He has our answers at his own appointed time. Yes, uh, patience is all what is needed in our struggle. Yes. We give glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen.